Hi everyone, welcome to Pregnancy Week 34. Um, I'm filming this on my iPad because um, it's Father's Day and it's like 9.45 at night right now because I spent the entire day with my dad and it was so much fun and I really don't want to make this video another day uh, because I just know I just won't get around to it. So happy Father's Day to everyone. Um, this week has been quite scary. On Thursday I had a lot of pain, a lot of contractions, a lot of pressure. Uh, nothing really like like regular, like I didn't have regular contractions, but it was painful. Like sweat was dripping down my back, painful. And if I'm saying something's painful, I have a very high pain tolerance uh, going on. So if I'm thinking this is hurting, this is painful, it must be something going on. And I ended up calling the midwife like, 3.45 in, uh, in the afternoon, even though Rob had to like, leave work in like half an hour, so even if they wanted me to do something, I couldn't go. And they didn't want me to come in. So I had to call my dad, I was like, Dad, can you bring me to the midwife's office? And he was like, now? I was like, yeah. He was like, oh yeah, sure. I was like, Dad, it's kind of like an emergency appointment because I'm having a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions and they're hurting and they're not regular, but you know, I just want to know what's going on. And it ended up it being, she called it preterm contractions. Yeah, pre pre contractions or something. You know, basically uh, the contractions you have before your labor starts. And they don't know why, but it's either because baby boy was um, getting so low that he was engaging himself or getting engaged, or because my body thought it was time for him to get engaged. So. Um, he's down low right now. He's pretty much just all the way down. He has a tiny little bit more to go, according to the midwife who checked me. And that's probably why my stomach is all upset and why he's moving so much, or why my uterus is so spasmy. Because uh, he was moving a lot, and um, I was having a lot of contractions all over the place with no definitive beginning or end, and a lot of discomfort. And she said that... It, it could probably be this, my uterus or the tissue being triggered to do so because the baby moved positions and the pressure is different right now and blah blah blah. She told me to take it easy. And I was like, I worked two freaking days a week. I didn't even work two days because Thursdays is when this all happened and I usually work on Thursdays and I actually worked for one and a half hour before I brought my client home and told the parents like, I'm sorry, I cannot go another hour into this pain and not rest. So they were completely understanding. They even wanted to bring me home, which I thought was ridiculous. Even though five minutes away from home, I was like, I should have taken them on their offer because this is painful to drive with uh, contractions. Um, but basically right now, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna let my maternity leave start this week because I cannot see myself go back in having contractions while working because I'm still having them even right now it's this day Sunday and it happened on Thursday and I still have contractions back pain pelvic pressure whatever and as long as my contractions don't have a definitive beginning or end and a clear high pain stuff you know clear movement like they start yep high point yep end point as long as I don't have that and they're not regular, I do not have to call in and go see them. But I am a little bit worried because every single time I stand up, I have uh, a Braxton Hicks every time I move, if I sit in the car or whatever. So I'm going to talk to my midwife on Tuesday to see what we're going to do from now on. Um, tomorrow I'm having a tour through the hospital to see where I'm giving birth and how the nursery set up and, you know... Hopefully get a list of what to pack and what not to pack. So after that I will be packing my hospital uh, bag. And then on Tuesday I have my makeup appointment. And that's basically it for this week. As for symptoms, I am no longer hungry. No longer hungry. I have to tell myself that I have to eat something because else I just, I don't know. I'm just not hungry. I just don't feel like eating. The last couple of nights I did not feel like cooking and I eating the most simple things ever. Things that either can be heated up in a microwave or I just eat like 
a bowl of yogurt or something like that. I don't eat actual meals anymore. Um, I do drink a lot. I drink more than two and a half liters a day because I'm just so thirsty. Um, that's basically it for physical symptoms, I guess. I do want to quickly mention before my iPad runs out of space that um, I'm really stressing out about a lot of things right now. Not only the whole thing that I could probably go into labor, like, eh, whatever. That kind of scares me. Not the labor part itself, but, you know, I feel like I need to get everything ready right now. So I've been working on that. Um, but I've also been stressing about Rob's work. Now, for those of you who don't know, Rob works at a restaurant as a waiter. And his hours are crazy. Like, he works, he has a 45-hour week uh, contract. And I think he probably works most times in the 60 hours. And those hours are like all over the place. Like this weekend, I probably seen him for like from Friday till today. He's not even home yet. I probably seen him an hour. That's not as much. And Thursday, Saturday, he had to start later, which was an exception. They actually called him while he was packing his uh, motor gear. He's putting on his motor gear to go away. And then they called him that he could come three hours later. But basically, what I see from Rob from Thursday evening, from Thursday afternoon till Monday afternoon, is just him waking up, taking a shower, and eating something and going. That's basically all I see, and um, it scares me because I'm like, how am I gonna deal with a newborn? Because he works so many hours, especially if like in, he's off on Monday and he's usually off on Thursday, sometimes on Wednesday, it depends. And the rest of the week, I barely get to see him. Like I barely see him and it never really bothered me up until this week when I realized that we're gonna have a newborn soon and he's not gonna be there to help out like I know he would he would want to but he's either sleeping or working or eating and there's no way to budge on that um, and it scares me because I'm like how am I gonna take care of a newborn the household and myself that's one thing that's scary but it also that something that probably isn't going to fit in is him spending time with his son and us spending time as a family. He will probably spend time with his son like when I go back to work and he's off those days. But then every other day that I don't have to work, he has to go to work. So we have like no family time. And his hours are so crazy that I don't even like think we can make it work for him to watch his son two days a week. So I can go to work. And uh, I actually talked about it with my sister today. My sister works as a, how do you call it? Negotiator between uh, people looking for a job and people offering a job or companies offering a job. She's kind of like a mediator. So she understands a lot about contracts and stuff and you know what his rights, what, what, what Rob's his rights would be. So, um, she kind of like explained what options there were and I feel better now and it, all we have to do right now is convince Rob that he has to talk to his boss about this stuff um, because we have nothing in black and white like they keep telling me that or they keep telling Rob that if I go into labor he has two days uh, off so he can help me go through labor and he can like bring the baby home and then he gets two weeks off once the postpartum nurse leaves well, we don't have it in writing, which is scary to me. And he works a lot of hours right now. More hours than he has a contract for. And they're insanely, like, the way their their shifts work, it's just insane. And it scares me. It needs to be, like, fixed, you know? I want it to, like, have a black and white that he can actually be there for his family, not at all depending on me. So um, I got a lot of tips and advice from my sister and even from my dad who has worked a lot when I was younger and he's like he's gonna miss out on his son if he keeps working the hours he's working right now so I'm gonna talk to Rob about that tomorrow I think that will calm me down a little bit more if he understands where I'm coming from and he knows his rights and um agrees with me that he needs more time to spend with his family because Every single holiday since he got this job, he like worked both holidays. Like he's worked first day of Christmas, second day of Christmas, uh, last day of the year, New Year's Day, uh, 
father's day, mother's day. He wears them all. And that's not fun if you have a family. Like, I have to go everywhere on my own. Like, every birthday, every event, everything that's going on, I have to be there on my own. And I don't mind going there on my own, but he's going to miss out on his son experiencing all these wonderful events and holidays and stuff like that. And it's not fair <laughs> that he has to, like, miss out on his son and I don't get the help that I need with a newborn. Or with a baby, that is. So, that are my concerns for this week. I'm like really stressing out that he will not have any time for his son or for me once his son is born. Because he barely has time together now. And, uh, that's scary. Other than that, I don't really know. So, we had a labor scare. And I'm worried about Rob not having any time for us as a family. And, um... I'm gonna show you guys the belly now. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry if I keep looking over here, but I keep looking at the time, like how much time I have left, instead of like actually the camera. So, I'm gonna show you guys the belly. Let me check. Oh, I'm so huge. In the front. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, I'll leave them down below. And if not, then I'll probably do like a more real update soon because this is kind of like random and all over the place. Okay, bye everyone. <laughs>